Hey everybody, welcome back to Spoon FPV. So a little while ago I did the video on the Ion antenna and one of my friends, Nick Lang, uh, he has a YouTube channel too, I'll, I'll link it in the description, but basically he was asking me what I meant about the gain patterns and to explain it to him and in talking to him I kind of came up with a concept for how to explain it a little bit better on you know what this antenna does versus other antennas and we're actually going to play with some Play-Doh today so that should be fun. Let's get into it. All right, so we get to play with some Play-Doh here. The reason why I chose Play-Doh is because these two lumps of clay are identical in their size. So basically you only get, when you make an antenna, so this is a patch antenna, right? It's really good in this direction, but it's not good off to the sides, right? This is an Omni antenna that's uh, really good out this way, but not good out the top and bottom. And the reason that is, is because basically you get, so think of these as your reception patterns, right? Each one is exactly the same in size uh, to begin with, right? So here, I will take this one and I will make a gain of one antenna. So basically, it's a ball, right? Uh, this antenna has a gain of one. That's all that I have to work with. I have this much signal strength. So to build an antenna like this, I take that ball and instead of making a ball, I make this cone out of the antenna material, right? So I make this cone like this. So it's still the same amount of a material, right? Um, but like this one, goes really long in this direction, but it's not very good out to the sides, right? So, you know, this is this is our patch antenna. It's, it, it, it comes out in like this cone shape, right? And the more aggressive the patch, you know, this would be, you know, the more, the higher the DBI of the patch, the, the narrower this cone gets, right? And, you know, it gets to be this long, it gets longer and longer, but it gets the, the cone gets narrower and narrower. Now there are some games that are pay, played like with the uh, uh, pepper box. Here, let me grab the pepper box. So there are games that are played like with this, this is a pepper box, right? So we take this pepper box and we have, uh, I think this one's uh, 13 dBi. Uh, it's really high gain, but they took this, instead of taking and making it a cone like that, they made the cone and then they squished it, right? So now we have this uh, pepper box where it's, um, you know, you have your, you still have your long range, but you get a, a, a wider uh, direction here. Um, but it's flatter, right? It's 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 flatter this way than than a cone, which would have which would fan out in both directions. So there are games that can be played, and that's one of the ones that they do with like the pepper box and the crosshairs. They take that cone and they flatten it out. Um, now. So let's look at our uh, omni. See, same amount of clay, just just playing games with it. So let's make uh, an omni antenna here. So open. How do kids get this stuff out? Mom, can't get my play-doh out. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so again, this is our patch. This is like our you know gain of one. Same amount of play-doh, right? So. What we're doing with the the omni so like let's say we have a mad mushroom here right so this is omni with a reasonable gain i think it's 2 dbi uh, I, I i actually don't remember i think it's it might be 2.6 or whatever it is um but basically we take the omni pattern uh, you know the 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 true unity pattern which is the the sphere and we make it into this the donut shape we squish the middle a little bit so we're squishing this pattern to widen it out right so now we have the same amount of clay but it's a little bit bigger right just a little bit bigger than our so we get a little bit more reception all around with that right so that's a you know reasonable gain uh antenna with that's an omni right well with like the ion 
you take this whole thing and you you know you take the reception pattern and then you squish you squish this out right you know so that would be this would be like a pagoda right it's it's a little bit of a squish so it's a you know more reception pattern than a, than a normal omni and then uh the uh, the ion would be a pagoda where you take this and you squish it a little bit more. So you have this really flat donut that's got this, you know, I'm, I'm going to tear it in the center. So, like, you get this really flat donut with, you know, your reception's really good, like, in this direction, but really bad. So this is, this is the antenna, you know, this is right, it right here. And then this is the reception pattern. So you have like this really good reception pattern this way, and you have a really bad uh, reception pattern this way, like almost none. It's minus, uh, I think it's from his graphics, minus like 26 dBi, which is like nothing in the center. So that's that's what makes it not a very good uh, transmit antenna, is because when the antenna is pointing this way at you, or uh, or this way at you, basically it's like it's like this. You have no no transmission up and down, but the reception's really good. So you get like almost as much as like a a directional like all the way around. Like I'm still using the same amount of stuff, right? You know, we have this. Uh, it's almost as good a patch. Well, this should be round, right? But so it's a really excellent reception antenna. It's got like a really good range all the way around it, uh, but just again, top and bottom have a hole in it. So basically, we get. We get so much to work with, we can make it any pattern that we want, and, you know, by playing clever tricks, like, the with the patch, you know, we squish it a little bit to get a wider beam, right, in, in the areas where we want, instead of getting, um, you know, with the Omnis, we, we, we squish this, the, the whole thing flat. Uh, and and we push the center out, right? Like so we put a hole in the top and bottom of it. I, I, so this is cyclone antenna, which is basically this pattern. It's a ball, right? This is the ion antenna, which is this pattern. It's like a, a really squished, squished flat donut. This is, and then this would be the pepper box or uh, crosshair antenna. It's a squished cone. So like those are kind of examples of antennas that go with each of these patterns. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully my, you know, Play-Doh examples here helped you understand a little bit better about antennas and uh, where the patterns come from and, and, and what it kind of looks like a little bit more. Uh, for those of you that haven't hit that subscribe button, you know, it'll be down below and they'll, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, uh, you know, I see your comments. I, I read them all. It makes me feel really good to, that uh, I've made some sort of an impact in the community. So uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.